Hey guys, so today I have a Vitacost haul. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a long time. But I have food things, beauty things, just kind of a whole... I wanted to get like a broad range of products for you guys to see. I hope you guys enjoy this haul and let's get started. So first I have two products by the company Nubian Heritage. I've never heard of this company before but some are told me that I had to try it. So I got the coconut and papaya with vanilla bean extract body wash. This is anti-aging, brightening, and firming. And I got the coconut and papaya hand cream. So I've been waiting to smell these. Oh, they're closed. Okay. Ooh, it smells, shoot. Um, it smells like fruitier than I thought. You know what this smells like? They have um, the Shea Moisture line from Target. I had a lotion from them. I might still have it. I don't know. But it, this smells a lot like it. Like a smoothie. But it's really good. It's like super tropical-y. Perfect for the summertime. And I think I'm going to stick this, the hand cream in my purse. Next I got two selfless... Selfless? Sunless. They're so selfless. Um, two sunless tanners. So the first one is by Nature's Gate. And this is the natural looking self tanning lotion with olive oil. And it's paraben free, no artificial colors. I'm always trying new self tanners. The, I mean, the one that I've used through and through is the Sun Goddess. It's my favorite. It gives you the most real looking uh, tan. It's not orange. It doesn't really have a scent. So I'm, I'm just really interested to see how this works because these two got really good reviews online. So then I got the My Shell one, which I had no idea they had a self tanner. Looks like this. This is very small. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I feel like I would use this in two uses. So I hope it spreads out nicely. This one looks like a lotion. It's like a um, just white. It doesn't really smell like anything. So I'll keep you guys posted on these. I thought that was this. These would be fun to try, especially with summer coming up, and I'm really pale. I, if I don't look pale, I have self tanner and bronzer. It's not real. Then I have a couple of deodorants because I've been using the Funk Butter, which I really like. It really works, but I wanted to see if I could find one that isn't a paste that I like just as much. So this is the Walida Citrus Deodorant Free of Aluminum Salts. This one got really good reviews too, so let's see. Oh my goodness, it's like a glass fancy very fancy uh so that's what that looks like this is super cool probably not the best to travel with but i'm really hoping i'm gonna smell this it smells so good like citrus uh so yeah i'm gonna try this out tomorrow morning and hopefully that works i'm really hoping that. they had a rose one too which i thought would be interesting and i got this one this is the thai crystal deodorant mist and aluminum free, non aerosol, hypo hypoallergenic, unscented, non staining, no alcohol, 100% natural, you know, just everything. This, all this has in here is mineral salts and purified water. This, I don't know about this. I, I don't know why I'm spraying it, but I want to smell. Smells like nothing. But this, again, had really good reviews. So, this one, it seems like so good. It's free of everything. There's like nothing in here. So, we will see. I will keep you posted. Then I got some EOS lip balms. I I used to have a ton of these and these are like the one thing that Kyla, my dog, gets of mine. It's so weird. Like she doesn't chew anything of ours. The only thing she gets is the insoles. She'll take the insoles out of our shoes and like runs around with them but she won't chew them. But these are her ultimate like, she loves these. She eats every single one of mine, so I have to hide them. This is the Sweet Mint, and I've tried all of these before. This is one of my absolute favorites. This smells so delicious. This is the Honeysuckle Honeydew. This one, I think, was my first EOS lip, lip product, and I thought I was so underwhelmed. I was like, why are people even buying these? This is not good. Um, and this is the summer fruit. But what I have found, some of you guys told me this. Like at first, they don't really work. But as you start working the product in and using more of it up, it gets a lot more moisturizing. You kind of have to like get past that like top layer. These are gluten free, which is so good. They're 100% natural, 95% organic. And I love them. 
They're cute. Next I got two bath bombs. These are by the company, that's strange. This one says Hugo Naturals and this one says Hugo and Deborah Naturals. So they are fizzy bath bombs, 100% natural. This one is eucalyptus, rosemary, and mint. It smells like spearmint gum. So I don't know how this is gonna be in the bath. And then this one is the lavender vanilla and they're gluten-free. This one says gluten-free and vegan, so I don't know if this one is gluten-free and vegan, but I like the lavender vanilla one more. Next I got the Berry L, this is not the English side, clearly noticeably nail thicker, thickener for thin, weak nails. And not formulated with formaldehyde, toluene, or DPP, so it's three free. I'm trying to grow my nails like, one day they'll be great and then the next day one will break. It's like you can never have a good full set of nails. Like, am I the only one out there? Like right now these two nails are like so long and awesome and then these are short and stubby. It's a pain in the butt. So I'm hoping this makes my nails thicker. That's my problem is my nails are so thin and they split and it's never fun. Next I have my Giovanni Soothing Unscented Facial Cleansing Toilettes. I'm almost out of my other one, so I figured I would get another one because these are awesome to have on hand. They work so well. And then last for the beauty products, I got the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. This is a deep pore cleanser, and it's 100% natural calcium clay. They're doing yard work outside, of course, right when I film. So I wanted to get this to compare it to the Glam Glow and see, you know, if this one does just as good a job as cleaning my skin so everybody says this is amazing so I'm super excited to give this a shot. Moving on to some food items. That's really they're gonna do this right here. Okay they're gone. Kind of. So this is the Red Mill, Baba's Red Mill and this is the, ugh, they're back, the coconut flour. I'm gonna just yell. So uh, gluten-free, I feel like I've tried so many gluten-free flours and there was one that I thought was so good and I don't remember what kind it was because when I buy flour I dump it out into like our little Tupperware things so I have no idea what kind it was so please let me know your favorite gluten-free flours for baking because whenever I bake my cookies they always taste awful because of the flour. So I got the coconut flour. I was thinking this would be good for baking. I just got the tapioca flour, which is all right. Then I got this PB2. This is powdered peanut butter. And Heidi told me to get this from Heidi Cupcake. Uh, it's like way less fat than regular peanut butter. And I think you just mix it with water. Yeah, and just stir it. So I have no idea how this will turn out but it's super popular and I got some more blue diamond almond nut thins these are so delicious this is the cheddar cheese they're like the best rice crackers I've ever tried I'm usually not a fan of rice crackers but these ones are good because they have like that cheddar cheese flavoring on them so good then I got some go raw go away people these are the organic lemon super cookies so, um, they're like, this is not, these don't look like cookies to me. These look like, um, like little crisps. So they're gluten-free, wheat-free, nut-free, and there's coconut in here, sprouted sesame seeds, dates, lemon oil. I think they're gone. Um, and it's like all raw, just so pure. Two more things. I got a jumbo maple syrup. This is the uh, Coombs Family Farms Organic Maple Syrup. This is the 32 fluid ounces. I got a big one because me and Andrew go through this stuff pretty fast. And last, this is coming apart, is um, the Think Thin Deliciously Natural Nutrition, these protein bars. And I got the creamy peanut butter. I have the white chocolate right now. They come in a pack like this. And they have zero grams of sugar, 20 grams of protein, they're gluten free. I'll open one up so you guys can see what they look like. Oh, they're, they have um, peanut or chocolate on the outside. That's what they look like. They're so good though. I got one of these in like a box a long time ago. And ever since then I like always get them. So that is everything that I got from Vitacost this order. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Like always leave your recommendations down below because I'm constantly placing orders. And I love getting recommendations from you guys because there are a lot of companies on their website that I don't even know about 
and every time one of you guys shows me like a new company, I love it. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.